Hello and welcome to this week's episode of My CP Does Not Define Me, where we focus less on the this and more on the ability of what we can do. Join us every Wednesday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, live on www.letgoradio.net and on Facebook Live, where I always say, if you can't be good, be bad, but be good Hello, ladies and gentlemen out there in Facebook land and the rest of the world. It is that time again. It is 2 p.m. over here in the United States, 2 p.m., and it's time for episode 53 of My CP Does Not Define Me. I'm DJ Carter, your host. We are live on Facebook Live and www.letgoradio.com. .net, and we are affiliated with Kelly's Choice, Inc. I would like to welcome a dear friend. This guy, I've got to tell you, I had to keep him up because there's a lot of things I want to talk about with this guy, Mr. Dan Taylor, a friend of mine, all the way from the other side of the world, Blackpool, England. Dan, how are you, buddy? Hello, DJ. It's good to be here. Thank you for having me on the show. Oh, thank you so much for being here, my friend. We are, we are glad, glad to have you. I'm telling you, this is... I, you know, we were talking uh, before the before the show aired. He actually got on about thirty minutes before the show aired because we wanted to make sure everything was good. Hey, Nikki, how are you? Hey, Cindy, how are you? Welcome. Thank you for coming in. Uh, feel free to leave comments, guys, as I, I'll put them up uh, so that so that Dan can see them as well. Um, we were just surprised at how much we look alike, and we were talking. I was like, um. This yeah. is sort of creepy. I have never known anybody that looked exactly like me. And um, it, it just kind of, it took us back for a minute because we were like, wait a minute. Um, are we like re- related or something? <laughs> it's so weird. It really strikes me. So now let's, let's uh, let me get, go ahead and ask my opening question and get, get you introduced here. Um Yep. I, I would you do us a favor and tell our viewers and our um you know all of our listeners on Lego Radio, would you just introduce yourself and tell us uh who you are, where you're from, and a little bit about your disability and just give yep. us the, the run okay. down. Well, I'm, my name is uh, Dan Taylor, I'm 43 and I'm from Blackpool in England, which is by the sea. Um I'm originally from uh, the Midlands which is quite away from here, but I've I lived in Blackpool about 20 years. And it's the best thing I've ever done, really. Uh, my CP, uh, I'm in a, I was in a manual chair for a, a quite a long time. I've only recently been in an electric chair. I've recently only been in a power chair, I should say, sorry. Mm-hmm. And it's a very different kettle of fish for me. Uh, to say I'm a little bit lethal at the moment is an, an understatement. Uh, but I'm getting used to it. I'm getting now. I'm getting used to it. It's good. <clears throat> All right. So... Now let's let's talk about. Now you said you've been in a manual chair for most of your life. Yep. Um, yep. Being, did you find uh, that the manual chair is easier uh, in a lot of ways? Yeah, getting into getting into buildings, getting into places, uh, even getting into uh, somebody else's house. Mm-hmm. Now I find mm-hmm. that you know manual chair is a lot easier because mm-hmm. you know you know people can help you get in and you know things like that, or I'll throw myself out and get the. Drag, drag the chair up, right. but you know, but getting from A to B, being the in the power chair is just so much easier. Just mm. lazy. You know, I, I, I think you know, you and I again talking about the similarities. You know, I, I didn't have the, the the motor extension to get very far back to round the shoulders to to get the full ex, extension yeah. of push. Yeah. So again, the shoulders would would get you know sore, and I couldn't go very long. I could. But it would kill me by the end of the day. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Cindy said, "Oh no, another DJ scared." <laughs> LOL. <laughs> yeah, I, I, it, it's weird. It's so uh, peculiar. And uh, a DJ loves my accents as well, don't you, DJ? I, I've got to say, I do. Um, <laughs> we we were we were talking, and um, I said, "Dan, I said, does it irritate you if I if I copy your accent?" He says, "No, no, no, not at all. Do it, you know." <laughs> And and the amazing thing is the English accent was the very first accent I ever picked up, you know, because I did lots of voices and I just 
I it just fell into my lap, as it were. Um, what, what do I think you sound like? Oh, that yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, tell that you. Can. No, no. I mean, I, I, I said to, I told DJ, he's the very first American. This is this is how good the internet is, right? Mm -hmm. he's the very first American I've ever spoken to. You know, so to, for me, <clears throat> it was really strange. And to me, he sounds really American Southern. Hang on just a second. We got to get him back here. Hold on. Stay with us. Stay with us. Hold on. Whoa, I'm not sure. I hope the computer didn't die there. Hold on. Give us a minute. We'll try to get him back in. Um, hold on. All right. So we're, give, us, give us just a second. Sometimes this happened. Technical difficulties happen. Stay with me. Uh, we were talking to Dan. Uh, if we can get him to click back in, we can. Um, all right, so hopefully I can get him back on in just a minute. Again, we're live on Let Go Radio and Facebook Live, so just hang with me. Um, gonna try to see if we can. Uh, we maybe I don't know if his uh, battery died or not, but I think that may have been what happened because it clicked out kind of fast. So um, just talking a little bit about you know with Dan. You know, it, it's amazing. We were talking about how we look like each other, but in the same similarity, it's amazing after talking to him what similarities we found with our lives. You know, um, his, his CP, he had, he's had a lot of operations like I have, and it's just, um, you know, being, he was talking about, um, you know, being on the other side of the world. He had found me uh, through my CP does not define me. And it's amazing that that show was, there we go. Let's see if we can get him now. Hang on. Hey. Uh, there. there we go. Sorry. 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 <laughs> it's all right. I right. apologize. I pressed the button. I shouldn't have pressed the button. <laughs> all right. He, did you did you press the shiny red button? You did. <laughs> I, I did. I did. Oops. Leave the button alone. Leave the button alone. <laughs> All right, buddy. So you were saying uh, I was the first American you had ever talked to, and I was quite yes. honored by that. But yes. continue. I was the first American uh, you would talk yes. to, and I had a southern, and then you dropped. Yes. <laughs> and, and I yeah, and I was thinking uh, biscuits and gravy. That's what that's what I was thinking. Oh man, and you know that is my favorite breakfast food. Like, like <laughs> I mean, so so I said, he said, yeah, you sound quite southern. I said, do you mean like this, man? I said, like, bang, 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 and there was the laughter right there. So it uh, that that is yeah, yeah, other it's just hilarious. Um, funny ass, funny ass. So I, I just kind of want to, you know, in. in now with the with the power chair, what was what was hard about the power chair? Just the way it moved, or what, what was it about? Yeah, I mean, I'm used to being able to. I mean, I was never I was never very fast in the manual. Mm -hmm. I was never very quick, mm -hmm. but I was I was just stubborn, and I didn't want to uh, give up on the manual chair because sure. I thought I was just quitting, and I didn't want to quit. Mm -hmm. I wanted to keep. Keep using the manual as much as I could because again because you can get in at the car you can get it in and out of a car easier and all this sort of stuff. But then I realised that <clears> my shoulders are starting to play up. Yeah. I'm starting to ache. I'm starting to hurt. I'm 43. Time to relax a bit and you know take a bit of pressure off. Really. Now can you now you still have the manual chair? Can you? Oh yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I have the manual chair to go to my mom and dad's because mm -hmm. they they can't accommodate the uh, electric chair. Now I I will say this: make sure that you that you kind of kind of get in the manual chair when you can, because if not, your body will get very used to the contour of the power chair. Because oh, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I yeah. waited too long. When I got my power chair, man, I was in that sucker constantly. And it was like, oh, this is so comfy. And then when I went to get into my manual chair, my body had grown this way. And I went, yeah. Yeah. oh, I can't fit. Oh, I've, de I've, de I've definitely put weight on since I had the power chair. Definitely. You know, and, and I hate to say it. And, and there's things that they don't tell you about the doctors don't tell you 
yeah. about you know the switch from the manual to the power but it it is there is an element that can make you lazier if you're not careful yeah oh yeah definitely you, definitely. you still want to um you still want to stay as active as you can um i i you know i i i've i've, I've got to tell you 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 kind of inspired me hearing your story and you know you talked a little bit about your sister and we'll get into that um so what now now blackpool now i i, I think england is beautiful and it, i mean what is it what is it like over in england for you what is the you know transportation system like over there the, the, i mean for, i mean uh, for, for me things like trains and things like that are, mm -hmm. are really good i don't drive myself i've never really been into i've mm -hmm. never really wanted to drive really not really okay. i've had a few lessons with hand controls and things like that but mm -hmm. i've never been overly keen to be honest with you so okay. but the transport uh, in in uh, britain is uh, so good if you book assistance uh, before you go travel on the train, you can mm -hmm. get help on and off. You got you can, the, the guards get you into a certain position on the train, so you can go anywhere in the country, really. I've, I've been hearing that American transport is not so good, but Ooh, you can't you've heard it. right, my brother. I will tell you. you know? Oh, it is it is a wet gym sock. <laughs> Let me tell you, you know, and and there are some areas in. America that have really good transportation. There are some cities that have really good transportation. I don't want to say all American transportation is bad because it's not. Because we yeah. have a transport yeah. system here. It's just really, yeah. really, really tough because you've got to get off of one bus and go to another one and get off of one bus and go to another. Can yeah, I just yeah. get on one thing, go to where I want to go, let yeah. me get off, and then that's the end of the ball game. Well, that, that, that's the joy of the UK, really, because mm -hmm. we're so small. We think we're, we think we're big. We're not at all. We're not big at all. You know, we we can cover one end of Britain in, in a day if you want to. Really? You know, wow. Do you know what I mean? We're from one end to to the other within the day. I, I, well, I wanna, there's a place in Britain that I've always wanted to go, and I don't know if it's in Britain or if it's in England or or where where about. But there's a stone um, Stonehenge. Yeah, Stonehenge structure, and I want to. I I've, I want to go there, man. I'm just yeah. like. I think England is beautiful. The, the countryside and the people are so nice. I mean, yeah. I, I and I and I'm sure there are there are tons where you're like, yeah, there are some that are not so nice. But I, I everywhere, you know, everywhere is the same. Though, yeah, you know, you get, I, I agree. You get, you, get, you get certain areas. You get certain areas. You know. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I, I love living in Blackpool. I mean, it's 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 gaudy. It's very gaudy. Neon lights, roller coasters. Bed and breakfasts everywhere, and you know it's a it's a seaside town. It's a seaside town, and but it's brilliant. It's really good. I you know, and and I want to ask like because this is the question that I don't know, and a lot of this is a first for me as well. As far as you saying, you know, I'm the first American that 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 you've talked to. What is what is the the um, healthcare system like? over there what how, how does how does that work <laughs> well i mean with the with the with the national health service which mm -hmm. is the, the nhs for short mm -hmm. um everyone's entitled to free health care no matter what, how old you are what you've what, you know what you're paying into it's treated the same so if you i mean the waiting list the waiting list can be a while so if right. you need an operation you could be waiting up to three to five years for an operation Mm -hmm. So if it, as long as it's not critical, um, as for it took me, I've been, I've been on the waiting list for this chair for about three years. So I've been I've been waiting for my for my turn, really my slot, if you know what I mean. Um, now, other than, I mean, I, I know your healthcare, you have to pay for your right. stuff yourself, mm -hmm. don't you? Mm -hmm. Insurance and things. Well, like. now as far as now, it's a little different. They they do um they do eighty twenty so they pay eighty percent I pay twenty but that twenty okay. percent can can be pretty big now the way we work is ours we can get a new chair we're entitled to get a new chair every five years right um and ours takes about um three to six months sometimes a little longer but but right in that right in that you know neighborhood yeah. but. So uh, the, all of them, really. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. the the uh, out of pocket though, 
uh, the the chair was this chair was almost twelve thousand dollars. I mean, so you figure the out of pocket you're figuring about twenty percent is you know is over you know over two thousand. So yeah, yeah, you figure, and then if you get you know uh, the features that you need, the elevated leg rest, the yeah. you know uh, you know the the rise and fall, the all of that, the tilt, the recline. Those are just more more pieces to the puzzle, and they say, "Yeah, yeah let's tack on to that twenty percent." So, yeah, yeah. You know, it, it, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just uh, so now so let let's talk a little bit about your CP because you and I both have CP. We look alike. I'm so, I'm sure we're related <laughs> in some form. I know I was in another life somewhere. It's amazing. Um, so, how does your CP affect you? Now, I noticed you told me when we started the show, you're sitting on the floor. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm sort of I'm on, on my knees. Mm -hmm. um, I'm on a, I've got a little coffee table kind of thing with the, with the laptop on. It's quite a big old mm -hmm. dinosaur sort of thing. But well, well, I mean, I've got a bungalow. And mm -hmm. when, I'm in, when I'm in the bungalow, I always crawl around everywhere. Mm -hmm. Mama has knees. Every, everywhere I ain't getting into bed, I would flop myself into bed. And right. I, never, I never use the chair in the bungalow. I'm always moving around. You know, that's that's a thing. I miss that because I used to uh, I, I was telling you right before the show started, um, I used to crawl everywhere. Um, yeah. It started dam damaging my knees um, to where my patellas, which are in the center of the knee. And that's where they're supposed to be. The kneecaps. They started pushing up because yeah. for years I would crawl and I would scoot around. So it, it made it more difficult. But when I had serial casting done to straighten my legs out week by week by week, it took away the ability to sit on the floor. So I know you value that quite do, well. Do, uh, do, 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 do you regret the operation? Do you regret having that operation now? Um, you know, it wasn't an operation, but I, I do regret it to a point because it did help a lot with straightening my legs and all of that. But it took away a lot of the mobility that I that I had um, for getting on the floor because I was in shape and I was muscular and I could yeah, flip yeah. around and yeah. you know I was like a little little wrestler you know bouncing from rope to ropes as it was. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I was, I was, uh, yes, yes. Um, well, that's why I, I mean, I, I, I still try and get myself around as much as I can. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm a, you know, and I'm 43. I'm a little bit older than you, and I'm still doing it. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. there you go. So you know, what's your? I mean, what would you say your biggest challenge is with CP? <clears throat> biggest challenge for me at the moment because of the power using the power chair more often. I, I mean, I work as well. Mm -hmm. So when I'm when I'm sat in the office, um, it's it's not. It, I, I'm I'm heavier. I'm, I am heavier because mm -hmm. of the power chair, right. and that that's the one thing I do regret. It's the weight gain is quite, you know. Mm -hmm. I know I, I shouldn't eat shouldn't eat as what I do, but it's getting out of the habit, and you're living on your own as well. You can't yeah, just, yeah, that's that's, and I understand you know, that. It's not an excuse. No, no, no. And I, yeah, just, I, love, you know. I love that you said that because there there there's a reality to this. And, and I, I'm going to be real for a minute. You know, I take, I take medications. I take baclofen and dantrolene for, uh, for muscle spasms and to relax my muscles. That helps. You know, when I started in martial arts, I was almost 300 pounds. And yeah. yeah. I, I did it to myself because I like to eat, you know, if the food's there, fried chicken, mashed potatoes, biscuits and gravy, I will eat it. it. You know that, but yeah. I had to learn and I had to teach myself, look, if you want to move, you've got to slow down. You've yeah. got to portion yourself. You've got to yeah. look at what you're doing. Yeah. You've got to, you know, go around. This is going to affect you for the rest of your life. So for you to say, you know, for you to say, you know, I'm, the weight gain is tough, it's a reality. And you realize it. See, but the question is, the you know, is it bad enough to where you say, okay, I'm going to do something about this. This is what I want to change. And I think that's where people, you know, have to make the decisions for themselves. And yeah, you know, you've got, you got to reach that point where you go, that's that's enough now. Right. And I, I'm not there yet. I'm not going to be fair. I'm not there yet. I keep mm -hmm. thinking. Oh, you know, I mean, I was. A, I mean, when I was a, when I was younger in my twenties, mm -hmm. I was a disabled powerlifter. Mm -hmm. You know, I really? was, 
Oh yeah, I was a, I was a powerlifter. Yeah, you know the bet the bet the bench press thing. Um, mm. And I, I was uh, I got to national championships and uh, things like that. What well, I got to college level, I suppose you'd call it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You call it. But I mean, I was uh, number three in the UK uh, wow. back when I was in my early thirties. But that was you know. But again, I knew what I, I know what I can do. I know what I am capable of doing. But it's getting my mindset back into being fit again, you know. What well, um what got you out of the powerlifting, if I can ask? I hurt my I hurt my shoulder. I damaged my shoulder. Did you? Mm. And I and I you know it was starting to affect the rest of the training. Yeah. So yeah, that was that was a, that was a bit of a downer. But Ooh. there we are. One one uh, one thing I know is that rigorous training schedule, man. I remember you know oh. when I started martial arts, I I just wanted to just excel. And no, when, I, when I was at college, instead of being at lectures, all I was doing was I was in the gym, and that was it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. When I was doing lectures, doing my, you know, doing my media studies or whatever, mm-hmm. all, I, all I was doing, I was just pumping away, and I was just in the gym. It was like crazy. Yeah. But you can do that when you're in your 20s, can't you? Yeah, and then you look, and you're like, I'm a piece of iron. That's what I yeah. am. <laughs> you know? And it's like, I'm all you know, you know, and, and then you get that injury, and it's like, oh, boy. Yeah. You know, yeah. um, it, it, it's amazing to me. You know, I, I was when when uh, when we had the little technology glitch. I was kind of talking about how similar our lives were up to this point. You know, yeah. but I, I want to talk about a little bit about your support system because I kind of want to see where that is. And then I've got some comments that I want to read here too that have come up because we get a lot of good good comments as well. But yeah. what what is your support system like? Your mom, your dad, you know the family. Hey, yeah, I've got me, I've got me mom and dad. Uh, they their hotel is in Blackpool. They they've been been working in the hotel business for about twenty years. And my sister, she's five years younger than me, mm-hmm. and she's got CP as well, but not as bad as what I have. Okay, she's she's got a different form of CP. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure what what it's called, but uh, she walks. And she's got a she's got a husband and she's got a little girl, my niece, and she's, and she's perfectly ever body. She's a, a lovely little thing. Oh, and my Jessica, she's the apple my apple of my eye. Oh, she's, she's superb. Well, my sister's just a little short person, and she just shouts. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but she's nice. We're very close, very close. You know, that is that's the key right there. You know, and and to hear you talk about the joyous things in your life where it's you you just gravitate toward that joy and having that little niece man that's oh, I, phew, oh dear no that, you, you, don't, you don't think you could love anybody as much as you do your own family but right you know she's just she's just a crazy little thing she's yeah amazing. so so how you know in, in in working with her in you know what's it like having a sister with cerebral palsy that gets it, that understands. That, that's why we were so close, because we understood each other. Mm-hmm. Uh, even though there was a five-year age gap, mm-hmm. we were always together because there was nobody else like us in the town, in the little town we were in. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, and it, because we were, we understood each other. Right. We're very different, very different in personality. Mm-hmm. She's very, she's, only, she's little, but she's very loud. And <laughs> she's, quite, she's quite in your face. Where I'm quite laid back and I'm quite placid. Mm, yeah, mm. but we're we're like that. It's it's very very strange. Really. You know, it, it, it that, that talking about that. You know, my brother and I used to fight all the time. You know, yeah. because he was right. He was always right, never wrong. Yeah. And I'm the you know little little boy that that you know that i'm just there and then and then once remember once we started you know once he realized and once we he stuck up for me man i was like okay all right now i see where we're at you know but man yes. that yeah. is that is the difference yeah. having a sibling that has the same disability that you that you have having somebody that, yeah. that gets it you know those nights where everything hurts and it's just you're like man yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. any any anybody yeah. get this now let me let me get to some of these act the, some of these accents. Lord, I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> All right, let's so, have a look at some of these comments. Let's see. Um, uh, Kim says technology is not always friendly. Welcome back. Um, Cindy says the show 
Uh, that shows how far your show is reaching people. That's great. Uh, yeah. Rena says, hey, DJ, and greetings to you uh, and your lovely guest. Uh, Renee, uh, Rena says, hi, uh, hi, Dan. Hello, Dan. Um, Josh says, I second that, talking about, you know, CP and the healthcare system and the, the chair situation. Um, JP said this one, and this is about the transportation. Most transits in the U.S. need significant improvement. It's better, uh, and it's better in the larger yeah. cities that yeah. can sometimes yeah. still be a challenge. Uh, JP said, uh, twenty percent is still a lot of money, and that yeah, is very yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Cause that that chair I've just had up the NHS. They've they've. I mean, I, I haven't got all the bells and whistles. It doesn't go up. It doesn't. It does recline. The, mm -hmm. the seat reclines and the back reclines. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, they wouldn't do any more. They wouldn't do the up and the down or anything like that. Right. They give you, they give you what you need, what they consider right. you need. Mm -hmm. Your your OT, your occupational therapist. Mm -hmm. I said, what well, you, you get, you get what you you need and no more. If you know. What sure, I mean. sure, yeah, and, and and that's kind of where we're the same. You know, you really have to fight for what you need. Yeah. Uh, JP said crawling was much easier when I was younger. It hurts too much now that I'm older. Um, and this is a cool comment here. Agreed. I feel for others that have a power chair out of, necess um, out of necessary, I only use the manual wheelchair as a means to maintain a level of physical activity. That's a great yeah. way to put it yeah. right there. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Agreed. Um, my, this is like my sister from another mister right here. Uh, it's Shana. She says, hello. Uh, Josh says, Totally understand. Love the uncle stuff. So he understands <laughs> about the niece. He's got one too. Uh, JP said, uh, nieces and nephews, it's like having kids of your own. You can tell them yeah. it's time to go home. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, looking forward to, I'm looking forward to when she's older and uh, I can play it up and then yeah, I can see yeah. her on there. You know what I mean? And but then so Shana says, I love Dan's accent. So yeah. there you go. Um, so that's, you know, give a, give a little smile there. Yeah. I, I do want to ask you a question about, um, yeah. your niece. How, how does she relate being younger? How do you think she relates to your cerebral palsy? Um, she just asked my sister, I mean, Jessica is very clever. She's, I mean, she's six, but she's like six going on 16 uh -huh. and, and she's not, she's not shy. She'll right. ask her mom. What how come Uncle Dan's in a in a chair? Mm -hmm. And will answer honestly. And she understands. And she's there's no fear. I'm just Uncle Dan to her. Mm -hmm. And that's then that's the way it should be. That yeah. that's that's what I love right there. There's no there's no barrier. So many times I think in in, in life for for children, they're honest and what they yeah. see. They yeah. want to know. They're not asking to be rude. They don't understand rude yet. You know, yeah. at that age, it's new to them. So they want to know. They're curious beings. They want to find out. And when you answer them honestly and you tell them, this is why Uncle Dan's in a chair. This is what happened. They accept it. But a bang, but a boom, they move yeah. on. And it's it's yeah. not that dragging question of every single day. Is it yeah. going to change? Is it going to change? No, I, yeah. I love that. I love yeah. that. I mean, I mean, I've had a. She's even got herself in the when I'm not in the chair. She's got herself in the power chair, mm -hmm. and she's and she's hooning around the the back garden into, into the neighbor's garden like a complete lunatic. She's got, got no fear whatsoever. She's, oh my gracious! Yeah, she's off. the chair, darling. I need it, please. Thank you. She loves it. She loves it. She loves it. So um, there's no, you know. So you said that you work. Uh, what do you do? Yes, I work for the UK government. I'm a civil servant. Boo mm -hmm. and hiss. I've okay. been in the civil service now nearly 20 years. It'll be 20 years December. Wow. So I ain't done too bad. I've done, I've done okay. And I'll get, uh, I only work part time. I work 25 hours a week mm -hmm. and I'll get, I'll get paid for that as well. So it's, nice. it's great. And I'll get it. And I'll get a pension as well, which is good. That's really awesome. So yeah. what are, um, let me just ask you, what are your hobbies? What do you, what do you do for fun? What? <laughs> well, uh, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a bit of a, I'm a bit of a mixture. I mean, I used to, I, was, I used to be a regular gym girl, not so much anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm, a bit of a, I'm a bit of a nerd as well, so I'm a bit of a, you know, a bit of a computer person. So I like a bit of a, doing a bit of uh, computer stuff. I also like media, so I like a lot of 
video and TV production, and that's what that's what I studied in really, TV and video production, law mm. and government journalism, and things like that. So I do a bit of that as well. Okay, so you you you're into the technology side well, of, yes, of the definitely. world. Now, are you much of a gamer? PS4, PS3, that kind of thing. <laughs> Not really. I haven't got, really got the patience. I don't mind a bit of soccer or a bit of football, as it should be called. Mm. That's, where, that, that's where Americans are going. That's, that's, <laughs> that's football without pads, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, so uh, I, I, you know, I cannot get into soccer. I don't know why it is. I just. Well, it's, you know, it's the same for me. I don't understand American football. I have no idea. I've I watched the game. I've, I've I've studied it and I have no idea what the hell's going on. It's 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 one of those things that you know I when I got into football because I started a, a wheelchair football league in college and yeah, yeah. when you when you love something or you're passionate about something it, you grow from it and it, and it's oh, like yeah. you know that's like you know you 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 can you can see what you like and you do what you like and you have that independence and that freedom. And there's there's a there's a freedom in that itself. It really, you know, yeah. for you to be able to to live on your own and to manage as well as you do, aside from ripping the radiator radiator out of the wall. Yeah, <laughs> that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was that was one of that was not one of my uh, better days. That yeah, I got I got the foot plates stuck under the radiator in my li in my living room, and as I turned and I reversed. Oh, yeah, I yanked the radiator off the wall. I, I I have to to say my probably my most exciting tear story. I was in college, first time in a power chair, driving the power chair in class. Okay, and I go to go to class, and what happens? The chair is on full speed. I get the controller caught under the table. Oh no! The table is in reverse. It yanks yeah. the table with seven computers all the way across the room, rips all the cords out of the wall, and it brings them to the center of the room. Before I realize, turn the chair off, and you will <laughs> not go anywhere. The only look on my teacher's face was that. Right there. So yeah, I had that moment, and I, I'm telling you, you know, we have done some things in mm. a chair that are whew, let me tell you, <laughs> it is you, you you look and you go man your chair did that wow you, you, don't, you don't you don't realize how powerful they are do you until that's that's the thing but you know the the amazing thing to me is all the kids in the classroom were like that's the coolest thing i've <laughs> ever seen <laughs> I mean, you take a minute, and, and after the shock, you're like, did I just pull yeah. seven full computers across the room? And, and, and were, they all, were they all damaged? Did you get, were, they, were they broke or what? No. Actually, they all stayed on the table. They all did not break. They all yeah. came from the power strip where they were, and everything was fine. We pushed the table back. I turned the speed down. My teacher was humiliated, and we finished the class. I mean, it was like <laughs> after after I left, I went. I'm really, really sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Um, and, and 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 it was it was so funny. But um, just to kind of you know get into you know yourself, um, what you have an amazing outlook on life. I mean, I love your personality. I think what what gives you. Your, your strength. Where do you draw your inner strength from? My mom, my mom and dad. Okay, tell me, uh, tell me, tell me how that is. Well, I mean, my mom, my mom, she worked as a ward sister. It, we used to have. Um, they don't have. They don't have me anymore. They used to have. Uh, like, I don't know what you call it. A mental mental health, mental hospitals. Mm -hmm. So people that were mentally sick or had real bad disabilities mm -hmm. were put into these hospitals mm -hmm. or institutions. And she was a ward sister. She see she was a sister. She was a nurse. Mm -hmm. And when I was born, she was determined that I would not be like one of her patients. Mm -hmm. That I would live a full and active life. Wow. She did not. She did not want me to be like one of her patients. Um. And my stepdad as well, because he instilled 
a sense of being a man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That what was that like for you? Um, it, it, it was. It was. I mean, it was. It was tough. He, he, he's a tough. He was a tough man mm-hmm. because he didn't understand. He didn't. He didn't understand his ability. So my mom had to kind of teach him that I did have my limitations. Mm-hmm. That you know, don't be so tough on him because he can only do. He can't do the what things you want him to do. He's not being lazy. He just you got to give him a chance to learn how to do things himself. And that's what. And that they both. They both taught me how to be independent and be uh, as self reliant as, as possible. Really. When did you, you know, going through that and you know becoming the man that you are today, looking back at what you have from your mom and your stepdad, when did you accept, you know, I'm okay the way I am. Dan Taylor is good enough for me. Oh, mm-hmm. that, that that that's taken me a long time. That's, really. That, that that was the hardest thing. I always hated my disability. Mm. I, I, I it's it's and it's a stupid weird thing to admit to. I didn't. I don't know. I've never really liked it, even though it's part of me, and I have to. I've learned to accept it, and mm-hmm. it's been with me all my life. So, for some, I don't know. I've always fought against it, mm-hmm. and I had to sort of. Now I'm getting older. I've had to take a step back and think. Hang on. Stop fighting what you can't change, in a way. Mm. If, that makes, if that makes sense. That makes perfect sense, to be honest. Because, I, you know, and the reason I ask you that question, you know, and, and there's a little bit more to it before I comment on that. When What was the moment of acceptance for you? When did you go, okay, this is what this is. Um, I'm okay with me. I've got to accept it. And and how did you come to do that? Was there something specific in your life that did that? Or was it just a realization or a realization point for you? No, I think it was when I first moved out and lived on my own that I could manage the way I was. Mm-hmm. I didn't need any, I didn't need any uh, flashy assistance. I didn't need any care. Mm-hmm. That I could, that I, was, I had confidence in myself mm-hmm. to sort of say, right, you can manage as you are. You don't need to do anything special. Uh, I mean, I've got grab rails, I've got a wet room and things like that. But generally, it, I didn't need any, you know, I'm lucky in that way that I've got that sort of mindset that I've never, I don't need the care. So, you know, it, looking it's, back. It's, Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Well, you know, it could be could because of the way I was brought up. That mm-hmm. my mum and dad never asked for any help for any from anybody. Mm-hmm. They brought up two disabled kids between the two of them, mm-hmm. and they didn't need anybody else, anybody, anybody's help. So why should I need anybody's help? <laughs> you know, it's 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 a very single single uh, single focus mindset in a way. Yeah, yeah, I I, I get that. I mean, and and. and... And as you were growing up, you saw, you know, the struggle, but it is what it is. They made it. So, so can I, I mean, that's, yeah, yeah. I, I totally get that. Did you, did you have the, and this is the last part to this question and then I'll comment a little bit on why I ask it. Did you have the, Oh my God moment? Did you have the, what was me moment or the, I don't oh, know. No, yeah. I, I have, I still have real damn moments. Mm-hmm. I mean, mm-hmm. I would like to be, I would love to be married. I would mm-hmm. like to have kids of my own. Mm-hmm. But that that part of me, I still find very difficult. Mm-hmm. I don't trust enough. I don't let anybody out. I don't let anybody in enough mm. to, to get. I mean, that that's my that is my own. It's cliched. I know mm-hmm. it's very cliched, mm-hmm. and a lot of people probably go through the same thing. And you know, they've gone past that. You know, you know, Dan. I in listening to you in that last five minutes, we are more alike even now. I, for so long, you know, going through my life, I, I look at everything that, that I've accomplished and everything that I've gone through until I sit there and I go, okay, what now? You know, yeah. as far as not letting anybody in, I wanted to be accepted so bad. And I yeah. want kids of my own so bad. And honestly, the moment of acceptance for me was realizing that, 
you can't force someone to love you. You can't, no, no, yeah. Yeah. you can't yeah. force someone to like you. So the difference is if you're okay with you, once you're okay with you, nothing else really matters. Now, as far as the not letting anybody in, that's, that's the man thing. We're men, we're tough, we're rugged. You know, yeah. that's what we do, you know, yeah. but, but it's the, you have this cheerful dis disposition with you that I, that I, I like because it's, it's very real. And, and to get to the part of, you know, I, I don't break down those walls. I've never really, as long as you keep being yourself, you're going to find somebody and they're going to be very lucky to have you because in life, it goes in stages and you may be 43 and you may be saying, when is it going to happen? You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. You may have that moment, <clears throat> but just to kind of pair just a little bit, yeah, it, it, you really, the one thing you don't want to do is force it. You know, no. when, you, when yeah. you find the right one with the blonde hair and the blue eyes and the other accidents yeah. that we talked about, um, it, 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 no, it, no, realistic. you know, it, it, it is going to, it is going to happen when it's supposed to. And I think as long as you continue to, to, to be yourself and yeah. to have your great disposition that you, that you have now, someone is going to be very lucky to have you. And a couple comments here that I just want to, um, my, my, um, let me just go through here. Um, Kimberly said this. Uh, to be independent is the best thing to be a, to do and be as much as you can. Um, JP said this, uh, very lucky to be independent as I am. Shana said, I agree to be independent is a great feeling. I wish I would have it again soon. Mm. Uh, and always do what you can on your own, own, as long as you don't harm yourself. Uh, Shana, again, like my sister, I love Shana so much. Yes, DJ, when the right person comes along, you will know it. It's best to work on yourself and let it come naturally. I love that comment right there. Because oh, yeah. so many try to force it, like the dog chasing after the, hello, hello, are you going to come play with me, please? Oh, please. Oh, I just want to, I got it. And you're like, did I just do that out loud? <laughs> you know, and, and you look at yourself and you go, oh, dear God. Yes. Oh, dear God, I'm in public. Everyone's looking at me. I mean, I used to be the, 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 it's a girl and she's over there and I want to go talk to her. And, go. <laughs> and, and then when I did, she would like run and I would chase after her, you know? And wow. Like, oh, God, God, I didn't go that out, <laughs> please, please don't leave me. Please. I need affection. You know, the whole, you know, <laughs> it, it's, it, it's, but really, I, I, I had to learn that it's okay to be alone for a little bit, but I love this comment here and, and I'm going to read this one. It's hard to trust in a relationship when being born with a disability, but that, but Hey, we fall in love with someone sometime. I know I'm starting to really love that special person and I hope they truly feel this way for me. Oh, you know, so that's, 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 that's good. Isn't it? I mean, and, that, 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 to, to read that, it makes you, it makes you, it makes your evening, doesn't it? Really? You, you know, and, and, you, and you've got to, you know, you've got to understand it, it's all about timing. You know, we spend most of our lives and a lot of disabled people will just settle. Um, they will settle because they think they have to, they will settle into a marriage or a situation because they think they have to, they will allow their husbands or boyfriends to treat them like dog poop to, to, to keep it on a clean level. And then, you know, they say, Oh, well, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to show my strength by staying here and, and, and you know, putting up with it because it's my house. Yeah. But in the same sense, you've got to take control of, of who you are and be okay with who you are and not allow a person, hello, Michelle, how are you? To to dictate uh, yeah. life. So I am I am so proud of you for continuing to to reach, you know, and that's the that's the thing, man. I 
you know, in, in doing this show, I knew this show was going to be great. I said when we came on the air, this is going to be one of my favorite shows because I have never met someone across the country, halfway around the world, on the other side of the world, that I can relate to as much as I can relate to you. It's it's crazy. I, yeah, I, it, yeah, that is yeah. I, I still can't believe that really because we do have a we do have a Google. I I, I mean it, it's <laughs> it's but it, it's funny yeah. because I think we went through a lot of the same emotions here. You know, in in, in upstairs yeah. because my parents and my family they weren't that stern, but they wanted me to be as independent as I could possibly be, and they knew yes. that the for the long run that tough love was going to help in the sense yeah. of going. You know what? You did it. You made it. You know, I used to walk on crutches. I got lazy, man. That was me. I yeah. stopped walking on my crutches. That was my fault because I got tired and said, you know, I don't want to do it no more. I just want to roll around in my chair and get where I want to go. Yeah. But that mindset messed me up because when you do that, you lose muscle tone. You lose muscle control. You, yeah. you, you lose ability. And, and I'm going to tell you, you have those moments where I don't want to do this anymore. I don't care. And then yeah. you have those moments of, you know what, I'm down, but you can get past them. And I just, I, I admire you for that. Um, yeah. There's a comment here. Um, this is a good one here. I, I like that. Make sure it's love and not <laughs> lust. Make sure it's love and not lust. Yeah. Just don't settle because you live with a disability. Don't settle because you need assistance. Don't settle. That is a great point. I have seen more people think, well, this is the only person that's going to love me. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm here now. He shows me attention. Yeah. You know, he beats the crap out of me. I might as well just, I, at least I'm here. That is not, that is not what you want. You know, settling, no. we are worth so much. Disabled or not, we are worth so much. And the, when you realize how much you are worth and when you realize how much you matter, the choice will be yours to either change the situation yeah. or, or move yourself to a better one. And that's, and that's great. Um, I, I got a couple more questions, Dan. We are getting kind of toward the end here. Okay. What, what would you say in your life thus far has been your most inspiring moment for you? For myself. Ooh, that, that, that's a very good question. That age. That is a, that is a good one. Did I get you that? I, uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I got, I got uh, it's most inspiring one for myself. Uh, getting my job. Getting my job, I think. Okay. Yeah. All right. Being employed, actually earning a living. Yeah. Was that was that the I finally did it moment? I finally yeah. broke through. I'm making a difference. I'm making mm. a difference because mm. I work for. Um, I work for. Believe it or not, I work for. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how your benefit system works, but mm -hmm. I I help people uh, who can't who have, don't work who can't work claim benefits. Mm -hmm. So I on the at the other side of the desk, I help okay. people. Okay. I help people claim money so they can live. That that yeah. is. That is needed. And, and and with your disposition, as good as your disposition is, there are some people that yeah. take advantage of the system. There oh, really? are, and I'm like, man, um, I but but I've got to, the reason I ask you there, there was there was two questions that I asked you earlier in the show. And the reason I ask you those questions is because I wanted to show you something, you know, when we met, you found my CP does not define me. And you told me. I remember the conversation that you had. You said, you're helping people. This is amazing. I've never that's seen anything like this. That's true. That's see, true. see that's, that's what I wanted to do right there. I ask you the three questions about the support, you know, your defining moment, your, your moment when you realized, you know, what was your inspirational moment going back to, you know, what was it like for you to, you know, when did you realize that you accepted who you were? Yeah. I wanted you to see where you were at. Because this, yeah. this whole show, it doesn't matter if there's 12 people. It doesn't matter if there's one person. As long as I am making a difference to one person, nothing else matters. Everyone, but, everyone who is supposed to be here is going to be not, here. It's, it's nice to speak to somebody on a very similar level. 
mm. if that makes sense. It, it, does. That, it does. And that's what that's what attracted me at first, I think, because uh, again, the similarities are just shocking. Yeah. Well, it, uh, it, it, to me, to <laughs> see you succeed is is the greatest gift I could ever have. To yeah. see you, but to see you, to not only succeed. But be happy with your succession. Mm. See, that's that's where that's where a lot of people are are they struggle. They go, yeah. well, I have a job, but yeah, and you got a job and you're making money. Shut yeah, up, yeah. no. I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, but see, now there's something that you said. Three words, I well four, I help people too. <clears throat> Yeah, I help people too. Mm. The one thing that I love, this is not a job for me. This is an opportunity. See, mm. and you have that same opportunity every day, every day to yeah. make a difference in someone's life. And the fact that you said that you're making a difference, those words came out of your mouth. I'm mm. like, he gets it. That's it. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. So I've got two questions left. Go, uh, go, 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 DJ. go, 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 um, and, and I want to ask this, if you could do anything that you wanted, um, if you could, if you could, uh, be anything you wanted to be, what, if you weren't doing what you were doing or what you're doing right now, which is, you know, helping with, uh, claim benefits and things like that and people, yeah. what would you do? What would you want to do? Uh, again, I'll join the, I'll join the armed forces. Mm-hmm. I would uh, not 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 to not to not to not to do the killing thing, but mm -hmm. to travel to do the, to, for the traveling and see the see play see more places and wow. you know that that would be cool. That would be good to be the man's man to, to wear the uniform. <laughs> to wear the uniform, yeah, yeah. Not not sure which one I'd do. Probably, I don't think I'd be tough enough for the Marines. I think it'll be a bit of a probably um, probably navy, probably something like that. Okay, all right, all right. So, um, you know, you, you would want to join the, the armed forces, which is great. Let me let me yeah. get a couple of comments right here. Yeah. I've learned I've learned to not settle for for losers. I'm a better person than I than I than I put up a blinder. You will never see what's ahead of you. So take down the blinder and go for your goals. Well said. Well done, yeah. Kimberly. Thank you very much. Yep. I needed that. Thank yep. you. Yep. 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 Stop complaining and be grateful because someone has it worse off than you. Awesome. Awesome. Yes. Uh, yes. This was a great show. This was a great show. Thank you. Thank you. Um, let me say this and let me get this last question out of here before I start getting emotional, which I'm not going to do. Um, if you could speak to your, to your younger self, man, if you could, if you could look at your younger self right now and say, you know, well, I've got something I want to say to you. What would it be? What would you say to your younger self? The I turn around and go, Dan, stop worrying, stop fretting, you're gonna be okay. Mm. Mm. And that, you know, <laughs> yeah, that's 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 great. I mean, it's simple, but it's yeah. good because I think the worry is our our peace. That's yeah. our when you've got a disability on top of that, we worry about everything yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Oh. I, I, you know, when i when i was in my 20s i tried too hard i tried to get people to like me too much i mm. tried too hard a bit of a lech bit of a creek mm. and then i was like what just and then you go just stop mm -hmm. just stop mm -hmm. and take a step back leave people alone and they'll quit you know and then you just think you're gonna be all right i'm gonna be all right oh man what a what a what a great great point that is and i think you know to go through life like that because that was that same realization almost identical to you know what dj just slow down back your chair up let them breathe yeah they're not goldfish for the love of god don't <laughs> ever feed them yeah they'll, they'll come to you and and i really i really see the similarities in us talking today this you you go through a show like this and it's like man, oh. Mike, it's, it's, made a, it's made a difference to me. I, I mean, no, I, I I haven't spoken to you this long for ever, have I? Not for no, a full. I, I mean, we've had some good conversations now, but it, yeah. 
this is my this might be a, a weekly thing. I call Dan and I go, all right, all right, mate, I've got this problem. What do we do? You know, we've got to get you over here. I've got to get over there. You know, I just I, I love this because I see so much of myself in you that it's 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 it, yeah, it's almost it's mind blowing to me to where I'm I'm looking at. Even though we didn't have quite the same upbringing, it's, I think, the emotional structure of kind of where we were and what we wanted. It was like, I'm, 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 I'm kind of going, I need to turn the channel for just a minute because it's kind of freaking me out, you know. Um, would you, do you have, a, or would you want to share how people can get in contact with you or how they could find you? Is that something that you're... Uh, no, I haven't really got a. I, I mean, you've got a really good forum with your websites and your Instagram and all that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. I haven't really got anything like that, so I'd rather keep that a bit private if that's okay with you. Sure, that's fine. That is that is perfectly fine, and I respect that. I tell you what, I'd like to see though. Um, I always want to leave my viewers with this: um, mm -hmm. you are always capable of more than you realize at the time. Okay. Yeah. The, the reason I say that is because what I would like to see from you is a blog go on and the blogs are very they're free they're all they are is you can do a video or you can do an inspirational video or you can do a type something you know you don't, don't have to do it every day you don't have to do it once you can do it once a week but i would yeah. love to know about your life and have other people see you succeed because you've touched me today and i know <clears throat> i know that you can touch other people as well and i believe in that um thank you for um, thank you for being here today. This was, this was great. No, that's great. Thank you. Thank you very much for giving me the, uh, giving me the platform and the opportunity to tell people about me really. All right. Stay with me just a minute. We're going to play the intro guys, uh, really quickly just to, uh, if you'd like to be a guest on the show, you can email me at Carter DJ 85 at gmail.com. Uh, you can reach me at uh, Twitter. My CP does not define me. Instagram. My CP does not define me. YouTube, my CP does not define me. Uh, worth the wait, cooking with Car uh, cooking with DJ Carter and Chairmaster. I love DJ. that channel. That's cooking that. with Carter, I love that channel. <laughs> That's right. I've got them all. So please feel free to catch out. My CP does not define me every Wednesday at 2 p.m. Eastern time on www.letgoradio.net and Facebook Live. And with that being said, I always say. Hang with me, Dan, just a minute. If you can't be good, be bad, but be good at it. This is D to the J with a roll away saying we will see you next week for episode 54 of My CP Does Not Define Me. Hello and welcome to this week's episode of My CP Does Not Define Me, where we focus less on the this and more on the ability of what we can do. Join us every Wednesday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time live on www.letgoradio.net and on Facebook Live, where I always say, if you can't be good, be bad, but be good. <laughs>